Hello friends, here we are at the beginning of the third week of our remote learning preschool. And I hope that you're having fun. I'm having fun making these videos. It makes me feel like I get to visit with you even though you don't come to my house. So this week, this day, we are going to talk about um, that some plants provide food for us to eat. So we've kind of talked about that a little bit. We talked on the um, third day last week that about that sometimes we eat the plant seeds, but sometimes we eat other parts of the plants too. And one of the main functions of plants is to provide food for people. So we're gonna look again at our poster of seeds and think about the food that it provides. So here is the spinach plant and that provides food. If you ever had spinach, you can have it in a salad you can cook it and eat it. There's some corn. I know a lot of you like corn. Here's the cucumbers. We eat cucumbers. Here's the beans and the beets and pumpkin. Do we eat this? Not really. So that's not really a plant that we eat. How about this yellow squash or carrots? But probably not pansies. So not all plants are for people to eat, but a lot of plants are. So let's think of some of our other things that we looked at. How about this plant? Yes, we eat that, that's to eat. Not this one so much. We don't eat this one. We eat a lot of stuff that grows on trees. These acorns grow on oak trees, but we don't eat acorns. Yes, we eat those. What about these? No, we don't eat those. Now, you may not eat a coconut like this, but you might eat it after it's processed. There's oil, there's like flaked coconut, there's milk. What about this one? No, we don't eat that one. And this one? That may surprise you. We don't usually eat dandelions, but we can. We can eat dandelion roots. We don't do that very often. And we don't eat this, the fruit of this tree either. So some plants are for eating. And I want you to think for a minute about your very favorite food. And while you're thinking about it, I'm gonna tell you about my favorite food, pizza. Now, you might not think that pizza grows on plants, and you would be right, but there are parts of the pizza that come from plants. Do you remember how we, we ground the wheat into flour? So a pizza crust is usually made from flour. And another part of the pizza is the sauce, if you have red sauce pizza. So that red sauce is made out of tomatoes, which grow on plants. So there's parts of a lot of foods that we eat every day that come from plants. So I want, have you thought about your favorite food? Okay, so I'm gonna name some of them that I heard you say before. I know some of you really like strawberries and strawberries definitely grow on plants. We can go right out and pick them on my strawberry patch, right? And you guys, some of you came last year during the spring and we picked a lot of strawberries and ate them. How about macaroni and cheese? I know a lot of you like macaroni and cheese. Does that come from a plant? Well, the noodles that are in the macaroni and cheese are actually made from flour, just like the pizza crust. And where does flour come from? It comes from wheat seeds, which are ground up. Um, let's think of something else. What else do you really like to eat? Think of one more thing. What's a vegetable that you all like to eat? Maybe corn or popcorn. Those comes from plants. Maybe apples. A lot of different fruits come from plants. So a lot of the things that we eat every day come from plants. So if you have thought of something that you like to eat that I didn't talk about, you ask your mom about it and say, does this come from a plant? 
And even some things which we don't think about, like maybe yogurt or cheese, those are made from animal products, not plant products. But do you know what keeps the animals alive? They eat plants. So cows who produce milk, where we get yogurt and cheese from, eat grass and hay and sometimes grain, which are all plants, and then they produce the milk. So even indirectly, sometimes plants provide us food, even though the product doesn't directly come from the plant. So ask your mom or dad, or maybe an older brother and sister, does this food come from a plant? And then try and think about the parts of that food that may have come from a plant, even a couple of generations back. Or when you sit down to dinner tonight, look at your table and notice the food that comes from plants. Like we always have salad with our dinner and that comes from a plant. Last night we had zucchini, which is grows on a plant. Not around here right now, but I bought it at the store. And last night we also had, um, let me think what we had besides zucchini. We had steak and we had salad which comes from a plant. It was actually a cabbage salad. And cabbage grows from the ground as a plant. And we put carrots in it. So our salad came from plants. So that is one thing to think about. That's one reason we're grateful for plants because it provides us with food to eat.